about ready to get us going. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. play and Young is going to throw it and on the catch right side this is Sanders and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line a really nice gain of 25 yards just the first quarter but tackling going to be so important going forward they've got to limit plays like that and that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all off season about our season open opponent and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long story. night. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Give them three yards there on the first down pickup. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. On the counter, this is Hubbard. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't... And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Miles Sanders taking it in from four yards out. And the Panthers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And he'll be out right at the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Throwing now is Allen. Uncorks one for Davis. 
It's caught inside the 25. A big play here for Buffalo. 64 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Ready, ready. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. As they've got it with a first and 10. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the up. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And just shutting him off there. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Mike 42. Mike 42. Check. Check. Mike 42. Hunt, hunt. 
On the counter now, it's Sanders. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. You ain't going to burn me. So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And a less than desirable return as he's out of bounds at the 15-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. now on first down going deep for Diggs oh and his early struggles continue here's another one intercepted this Carolina offense at the line ready to go they take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. 111 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Another run here with Sanders. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They go play action. Young. And connecting here with DJ Shark. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Young to throw it this time. That swung out wide to Sanders. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. He's got Mingo. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. From the red zone now, Young. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Hayden Hurst in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. 
And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Now Allen, a final shot before break. He's got the hookup with Diggs. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And again, it's Allen. Flushed out right. And I think the ball's out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half, and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. Under On the draw, here's Sanders. And some room to work. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 132 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Young will set to throw. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, 
They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. To the air, Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Xavier Woods with a pick. And the Panthers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Second and ten now, third quarter from Charlotte. They'll go again with Sanders. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's out right at the 25. 11 yards and a Panther first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Uh, Young here, you can see, changing the play. Now Young on first and ten. Short throw underneath to Hurst. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Jim, 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 Jim. Switch, switch, switch. Jumper, 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 jumper. Ready to go. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he gets it up past the 35. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Ready? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 42. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. 
158 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Young to throw it. Left side here to Sanders. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. So a favorable bounce that time, to say the least, and he's able to convert the field goal there from a long distance. Yeah, the guys behind the end zone didn't need to hike the net up for this one. That thing was a dying quail, but he finds a way to boink it off the crossbar and make it drop through. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now Allen. Throw right side, caught by Davis. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up third and two. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Again, they'll throw with Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Down the left sideline. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Trent Sherfield, 64 yards. And the Bills have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Bass on for the extra point. He's got it, and the score's now 27-14.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here now a third down and eight. Unable to corral him. He fights through. There he goes left side. Inside the 20. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little len, yeah, a little extra on top. But Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.